The Dodgers head to City Field tonight for a three-game showdown against the Mets. And get your popcorn ready because it's a battle of the two best teams in the National League. The New York Post's Greg Joyce is here, and he's on the line to talk about the matchup. In fact, he's at City Field right now. We just heard uh, the, the, the trumpet guy for Edwin Diaz. We just heard him uh, warming up in the background. So, Greg, let's jump into this thing because uh, when uh, asked about this series against his former team, Mad Max Scherzer said it matters. Max isn't pitching against the Dodgers this series. So will the Mets pitching staff be enough to cool down the red hot Dodgers? Yeah, I mean, obviously they'd love to have Max Scherzer lined up for the series, but they still get a pretty good trio. Uh, Taiwan Walker goes tonight, Jacob DeGrom tomorrow, and then Chris Bassett on Thursday. So that's a pretty good trio to line up. Obviously, it's a dangerous lineup for the Dodgers. Anytime you have a lineup that leads off with Mookie Betts and Trey Turner and Freddie Freeman, that's a pretty dangerous top three. Uh, you know, just getting through that, and they have a pretty good wrestle lineup too. But those, that's a pretty uh, strong top three. So should be a great series. You know, they split a four-game series out in Los Angeles in June. But right now, obviously, they're two of the best teams in the league. Uh, I mean, the Dodgers are running, trying to run away with that best record in baseball. But should be should be a great matchup. Like you said, they're two of the best teams in the NL, but not only the ML, but MLB. So could this be a preview of the NLCS? Yeah, certainly could be. Uh, you know, if everything breaks right for both teams, I think the Braves could certainly have something to say about that. You know, whether or not they catch uh, the, the Mets in the NL East, we'll see. The Cardinals have also been playing really well lately in the NL Central to take over that division race. So obviously, uh, you know, some other teams might have something to say about it, depending how it goes over the last month. But you know, this is really the, the Mets' last big challenge, um, you know, for, for the next few weeks. They have a pretty easy schedule in September. They do have a series against the Brewers and that one late against the Braves. But, uh, you know, if they can get some, some good footing on this one, I think they're on their way. I mean, I think this is awesome that the trumpets are playing in the background. I kind of have to acknowledge the obvious right now. If you hear the trumpets, all of New York knows what that means. But before, you, wh which team in this series has more to lose? Who has more to gain? Yeah, I think I think the Mets probably a little bit more just because you know they're they're still close in their division with the Braves close behind. The, the Dodgers have run away with their division. I think about 20 games over the Padres right now, so they're cruising to the NL West title. Uh, the Mets are only you know three games over the Braves right now, so they certainly have someone breathing down their back. So I think not just facing a team, the Dodgers, that they could face you know later in October, but making sure that they get some wins under their belts to hold off the Braves to make sure that they can get you know the division title heading into October. Hey, hey, Greg, thank you. But before you go, since this is a New York Post SNY collaboration, we love to give the fans a little access. Can you turn your computer to show us what's going on in the background? This is City Field we're talking about for the matchup between the Dodgers and the Mets. Fans, you can see that in the background. That, yeah, City Field, it goes down tonight. We've got the Mets, Dodgers. Greg, thanks for joining us, my man. Thanks, Brandon.